Welcome back to Switch Corner. It's part two of our gems breakdown and how it all ties into the Black Friday deals that are happening right now. For those that don't know, each week I do break down five games, mostly hidden gems, but occasionally, you know, there's an obvious one here and there. Last week, though, we hit 20 episodes, so a 100 game milestone, and Black Friday could not have been just a better timing. So, yesterday, what we did is we broke down every game from episode 1 through 10 in the sale right now, and today I'm going to be covering episodes you. 11 through 20. That's going to be 21 games. If you didn't catch the first part of this, I will link it above in the pinned comment down below and then of course at the end of the video. So with that luck, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and let's get started. So as with yesterday's video, this will be quick fire. There is, of course, a lot to cover. If you want more information on these individual titles, I've added the episode number in the top corner of the screen and the playlist down below. It is still only US and Canada pricing, but UK, EU and AU add these games to your wish list because they will be going live over this next couple of days. So starting with the weird and wonderful, we've got Paradise Killer, and this is just an out there first person adventure mystery. The idea, and let's try and do this in a couple of sentences, you live in a world of gods and every millennia the island needs to regenerate, meaning yeah, you go to a new world and this one goes boom. As this world prepares to kind of like, you know, up and get out of the place, the council that leads this, what they call a rebirth, go and get themselves murdered. You need to explore this world, talk to the locals and then figure out what happened. It may be one of the most eccentric games I've played pretty much ever, and it's a new all-time low with 25% off. Just be warned with this one, it is not for a young audience, for sure 18 plus. So if you do like your 80s, check out Crossing Souls, even if you like, you like Stranger Things, check it out too. Plus it's Devolver Digital, you know that means absolute quality. Set in 1986, a group of friends out in California, they discover a pink stone that allows them to travel between two different realms. Ending up by the end of the game in a government conspiracy and supernatural offence, it's not changing the action adventure genre, but it for sure knows exactly what it is and just kind of embraces the era with like the vivid colours, the neon, some solid UMAP references, and then the gameplay as well, the combat puzzles, boss moments, they're all an absolute great time. With 75% off, it matches the all-time low price. Supergiant Games then, they release hit after hit most recently, of course Hades, but my favourite of theirs personally, Transistor. This one, it's a sci-fi themed action RPG as you set out to uncover a mystery. It's deep stuff this one, I'd recommend checking out a full review if you're going to dive in, or at least take a look at the gems episode I did, because I think with this one it very much is the pinnacle of the super giant style, especially like visually with this stunning art deco style. Fortunately though it has the gameplay and the story to back the looks up. Throw in then a solid chunk of customization and a stunning soundtrack and this is well worth full price, never mind a discount. This 80% off I will say it's not the lowest we've ever seen, but it's like a dollar difference and super Super giant, they absolutely deserve that extra dollar. Simfans Two Point Hospital is a love letter to the legendary like theme hospital. Manage and build out a hospital which has some serious depth to its mechanics while also embracing a weird and unique sense of humour. With 50% off, it's a new all-time low and it's well worth the price considering you could easily sink over 100 hours into this one and still have gameplay remaining. Especially when you factor in as well, they threw in a free update that included sandbox mode and free play mode. Alright, so this one's a monster deal. The Talos Principle is rocking a huge 75% off. It's a philosophical first person puzzle game from the creators of Serious Sam, weirdly. Also though then, it's got the writers of Infinite Ocean and FTL, which kind of makes a little bit more sense. Here though, you are a sentient artificial intelligence and you set out to solve puzzles all in the hope of working out, you know, the meaning in what is inevitably a doomed world. It started as a VR experience, this one, but it absolutely works on the Switch and if you like something that you know makes you use that brain this is a good way to go ahead and spend your cash because it even has a decent like runtime as well the average you're looking at about 15 hours. 
far, Lone Sales, now another one with a seriously striking visual style, but this one it's a very, I'd call it relaxed experience, but one you just kind of find yourself lost in. I'm not going to say anything on story here, but this is basically a game where you get in your big land ship thing which is set on this 2D perspective and you need to simply keep moving forward. That's all I'm going to say, it's mystery is what makes it so special and you'll struggle to find a bad word against this one, especially with the new all time low price of 50 percent off here as well i will say beautiful soundtrack check out a couple of tracks one called sundown and another one the main theme colored engine horror fans now consider the persistence which is back at its all-time low of 30 percent off this was originally a vr experience and you will immediately notice that in the controls i did a full review it absolutely works still the idea is this your spaceship has broken down you're heading towards a black hole basically you couldn't be more screwed you need to power things back up as quickly as possible the problem there's also mutated humans and all sorts of like alien life and enemies all over the shop all out to kill you you're gonna need to battle against them then to top it all off it is a roguelike meaning if you die you're back to the beginning with upgrades and the like in hand for that next run it even has a phone app at this one i cover that in the episode in more detail but this is for a second player who can either help you or make your life miserable it's interesting stuff especially when you do get that second person involved Katana Kami, A Way of the Samurai Story now and we never see a discount on this one. While I would have liked a true entry in the Way of the Samurai series, this is still a very good isometric Diablo-like experience. Here you'll be helping a local swordsmith get his daughter back. His daughter was taken because he has Detsuyos. How are you going to do that? By slaying demons in procedurally generated dungeons and helping out at the shop in the daytime. With over 100 weapons and multiple fighting styles, I had fun with this and I think this this price with 50% off absolutely solid it doesn't change much from the beginning to the end this game but if you like the dungeon crawling formula this one's probably gonna be for you so another favorite of mine now ruin app from Devolver digital it sees its first ever sale of 50% off and it's just a must buy it's an action shooter where you play a sociopath who is pushing back against the system while trying to get his kidnapped brother back while it doesn't really you know do anything new for the genre itself it just knows exactly what it wants to be a brutally fiscal ride and it's just elevated them by its cyberpunk like world and just character design i mean this thing is badass i had a blast with this and i've now played it on both the ps4 and the switch and i just love it every single time NIS America making the list now with Yomawari, the Long Night Collection. It's coming in with 60% off, and it's not quite the lowest price we've ever seen, but not far off. It's an isometric pixel style horror adventure that brings together two games that originally released over on the incredible PlayStation Vita. Do not let the cute visuals though deceive you, it knows how to deliver on the creep factor when needed. The two games we get here, Night Alone, which finds a young girl searching for her missing sister, and then the sequel of course as well here we're working up the mystery and why these offense occur in this town so our third Devolver digital title for this video yes I do like Devolver a lot but Minute is also coming in with 50% off this one has some of the more basic visuals you will find on the console no question about it but it's a stylistic choice that by the end of the game you'll kind of learn to love here the idea it's an adventure experience where you've been cursed to live in 60 second loops when you die, the day restarts and you've got 60 seconds again. Incredibly smart design here as you keep playing that loop over and over again until you break that curse. What I thought might be annoying actually works extremely well and there is something incredibly exciting about having that countdown begin like the second you press start. Superliminal then, this is for you puzzle fans out there, it's all set around the idea of forced perspective and it's incredibly unique in its approach to gameplay. Basically here you'll fall asleep in the opening moments, you're in front of the TV, it's 3am, the last thing you see is a commercial for a dream therapy program. When you awake, you're in the program and now you must basically face these tests really fun ride this one and a new all-time low of 30 percent off if you want something that is just absolutely original okay so this is a big one now ai the somnium files with a new all-time low of 60 percent off and this is more than worth that price of entry i was never really into visual novels but this game kind of got me into that journey to explore the genre a little bit more i still struggle to find anything that comes close to this one but i've definitely found some great games thanks to this the reason i like it though like it has actual 
gameplay elements where you have interrogations and you search crime scenes. Set in a futuristic Tokyo, though Special Agent Konami is on the case of a serial killer, and yeah, incredible. And a steal right now at this price, I strongly urge everyone check it out. There is a demo available on the eShop if you want to start there first. All right, so RPG fans, this is always on sale, but Cosmic Star Heroin, it's a fantastic old school science fiction RPG, one I absolutely suggest you do take a look at. Here though, I'm gonna keep this part of the video quick. Personally, I would wait. It's on sale all the time and we've seen it for a third of this price over the last few months. It's worth the full price, do not get me wrong, but you are here looking for deals and this, it's at the very bottom of the pile for me right now with this current 60% off. There's better ways to spend your cash, so let's move on. Supart now, first person shooter fans, if you want something a little bit different, this is well worth a look. It's almost a puzzle and the idea, if you move your enemies and their bullets move, it's actually hard to break that run and gun mentality that's kind of been ingrained into us all over the years this one though it's as much about like working out where you stand next as working out who you you know shoot first the visuals here are stunning and it just all comes together to make this very like cool like stylish game this one discount wise it is decent but we have seen this same price about four times over the last couple of months so i would say nothing overly special warhammer fans 40k mechanicus is on sale and what it had a troubled launch as i broke down for you in the most recent gems episode they got things up and running and this is one of the better examples of using the warhammer name the right way deep turn-based combat a card-based like strategy system that kind of hides in the back of that and even some minor like dungeon exploration in the lineup to battle it kind of presents a scenario you must then react to it it's not too far from something like think D and D looks great performance is decent and as a turn-based fan myself this is probably one of my favorites out there on the switch right now and it has a solid 30% off which does mark a new all-time low our penultimate game then of the video, Falsi or Arbiter's Mark, it's a turn-based tactical RPG with some steampunk elements in its world and story. With 40 story encounters, 20 different classes, 200 abilities, and a huge amount of customization, I think like weapons and all that good stuff, this is going to be a great one to add to the library, especially if you like your games like think Final Fantasy Tactics, because this definitely holds a lot of similarities. The only issue you may have here, it's not the lowest we've ever seen, but we all also rarely see a sale since like launch back in August of 2019 it's only been on sale once before so it may just be worth here sucking it up accepting it's not a new or time low but still getting yourself a fantastic game for a very steep discount so before we talk about the final game I just quickly want to throw out there two that were featured in episodes 1 through 10 but they didn't drop with a discount till after I recorded yesterday's video we got level head which is an incredible platformer where you build your world it's easy to compare this one to Mario Maker naturally but this is like very good and you will have a tough task arguing with the level head community about Mario Maker being better. They are a seriously passionate group. 25% off here, it is a very good discount. Then Ion Fury, if you like your old school shooters, think Doom, this one's gonna be for you. It's on a rare sale with 25% off and that marks a new all time low. Okay, so the final game, Mo Astray Masterpiece, released back in August, so it's very new, but yeah, this 20% off, I absolutely recommend you pick this up if you like your action adventure like puzzle experiences. No real combat as such here, more stealth and just some seriously impressive acrobatics. But you will be taking on the role of Title Mo, you will awaken in what is seems to be at least like an abandoned laboratory and all the humans they've been taken over and they're out to now kill you an extremely challenging games with some tough as nails platforming moments as well but what a ride this is and then the visuals stunning as they kind of capture that air of some like something in the background extremely creepy this is all reinforced then with an ominous soundtrack which i really did enjoy and i do find myself listening to it occasionally here on youtube and there we go, it ended up being 40 of the 100 games I picked dropped into the Black Friday sale. Some seriously great and underappreciated games in here. If you do want to know more about them individually, check out the Gems episodes. And if you missed the first part of this video, check that out next. I'm going to link it in a few seconds at the end of this video and it is pinned in the comments down below. 10 under $10 deals and my usual Saturday video will of course still be happening. The eShop has a lot going on right now so yeah I'm not going to be skipping an episode at all. With that then a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. Helps more than you know so thank you all so much. 
If you do want to check that out for yourself, I have linked it in the video description down below. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.